do, does, did, done. The word do comes up a lot in English. This is because it can be used in a variety of ways and tenses. Let's look at each one in more detail below. To do, present tense. With the verb to do in the present tense, we say, I do, you do, we do, they do. But we say, he does, she does, it does. For example, I do my laundry on Saturdays. They do their homework when they arrive home from school. He does nothing all day. She does her best every day at work. To do, past tense. The simple past tense of do, is did for all subjects, I did, you did, we did, they did, he did, she did, it did. For example, he did a magic trick. The dog did a spin. I did my homework in my bedroom. She did ballet after school last year. To do, past participle. The past participle of do, is done. It's important to remember, that past participles are accompanied by a conjugation of the verb to have or to be. Have plus past participle, is used with a perfect tense. Be plus past participle, is with the passive voice. Let's look at some examples, I have done my homework. He has done a good job. These two sentences are in the present perfect tense, because they have have or has before the past participle done. The video will show you how it is done. The report was done on time. In the two examples above, the conjugation of the verb to be is used before the past participle done. This indicates that the sentence is in the passive voice. To do, to replace a verb. Sometimes the verb do can be used to replace a verb, when the meaning is clear or obvious. This replacement is more common in informal and spoken English. Have you done the laundry yet? I'll do the kitchen if you do the lawns. Do, does, did, for questions. To make a question in the simple present tense in English, we normally put the auxiliary do or does, and for questions in the past tense did, at the beginning of the question before the subject. Look at this affirmative sentence, you speak English. How can we turn this into a question? We add do at the beginning, so it becomes, do you speak English? Another example would be, he speaks Korean. To make this a question we say, does he speak Korean? For sentences in the past tense, it works very similar, you lived in France. How can we make this a question? We add did at the beginning so it becomes, did you live in France? As you and see, the only difference between a question in the present tense and the past tense, is when it refers to third person as the first part. Does or did. Do and does, for emphasis. Sometimes do does, and did, are used in positive sentences to give special emphasis that what you say is true, despite what the other person thinks. Note that when speaking, the word, do, does, or did, is stressed with the voice. For example, I do really want to go. I did study for the test. One thing to note here, is that did is used for positive sentences in the past tense, and that the main verb is in its base form. Thanks so much for watching. We are ITTT, the leading provider for TEFL and TESOL training courses. If you like this video, please subscribe by clicking that button down here and click on any of the videos here on the left for more interesting teaching tips for getting certified to teach English abroad and online.